In this video, we're going to talk about working with multiple vectors simultaneously. And in order to do that, we're going to build on our example where we have information on sites and population densities by adding uh, an area for each of the associated surveys. So let's go ahead and, and set this up. So the first thing we'll do is we'll recreate our sites vector. So we give it the name of the variable we want to create, the assignment operator, which I'll make using uh, alt dash. And then we use the C function, followed by a parenthesis, uh, to create our sites vector. And remember, we're going to label each site with a letter. But since it's a letter or a word and not a variable name, we enclose it in quotes. So the first sample is from site A, the second sample is from site A, the third sample is from site B, and the fourth sample is from site C. So we'll, this code will create a vector of sites. We also had a vector of densities. So we give it the name of the vector, density, the assignment operator, the C function to combine all of these values, and then the values we've used are 2.8, 3.2, 1.5, and 3.8. And then we're going to add a new vector, area. And let's use areas of 3, 5, 1.9, and 2.7. Now we've written all of these lines of code, but we haven't run them yet. And so we see there's nothing over in the global environment. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of those lines and click Run. And it'll run them all at once. And now we can see we have three vectors to work with. A vector of areas, a vector of densities, and a vector of sites. And they're all the same length. So what can we do when we have multiple vectors to work with? The first thing we can do, and something that's very common, is to do math combining values from across vectors. And so, for example, we could multiply the density vector times the area vector to get the expected number of individuals that we would see in each of these samples. So we could create a new variable to store this total number in, call it number. And then to calculate, uh, to do the multiplication between density and area, we can say density times area. And we can see that we've now got a fourth vector, number. And the values in this vector come from first taking the first value in density and multiplying it by the first value in area and storing that in the first position in number. Then we take the second value in density, multiply it by the second value in area and store it in the second position and so on until we get all of the multiplications of area and density. And this is known as uh, vector math. Uh, and it operates in a way that's called element-wise, or operating on one element at a time. The other thing we can do when working with multiple vectors is filtering or subsetting. And this is done using square brackets. So like with slicing, uh, the square brackets say, give me a piece of something. But when we're filtering, this piece is based on uh, selecting parts of the vectors based on what we call conditions, not based on position. So before we were taking a particular set of positions from the vector, now we're going to get values from the vector that satisfy some condition. And so for example, let's say we wanted to look at the density values uh, that come from site A we would start with the vector that we want to filter, density, add our square brackets to say, give me a part of density. And then we can tell it that that part is the part where the sites vector is equal to, and we say this using two equals signs, the letter A. 
And if we run this line of code, we'll see that we get back 2.8 and 3.2. And those are the values from density where the sites vector is equal to A. And we use two equals signs here, and in almost all programming languages, because a single equals sign is typically used for assignment. Remember, we can use the equals sign in place of this arrow. And so we need a different way of saying these two things are equal, and we do that using two equals signs to mean equals to. And this will be a, a con this is a common mistake that I still make. Uh, it's a common source of, of errors in, in coding when you're getting started. We can also uh, do other kinds of comparisons. So we could say get the densities where the site is not equal to A. We say not in R using the exclamation mark. And so not and then a single equal sign means not equal to A. And if we run this, we see we get the other two values, the values where sites are equal to B and C. And we can also do numerical comparisons, right? So if we wanted to only look at sites where we'd seen densities above or below a certain value, we could say sites, because that's the vector that we want to take a subset of or a filter that we want to filter, square brackets, and then say density is greater than three. And then we'll only get values associated with densities greater than three, this one and this one. Likewise, we can do uh, sites where density is less than three. And if you're interested, if you have cases where you, you need a, a less than or equal to or a greater than or equal to, uh, you can also do uh, that by adding an equals sign after uh, the less than or greater than sign. This won't have any influence here. And lastly, it's worth noting that you can also subset a vector based on itself. So if we wanted to look at densities, but only those densities that were greater than three, we could say density because that's the vector that we want to subset. Square brackets for take a piece of it. And then density is also part of the condition, right? Because we want the density itself to be greater than uh, three. And so now we only get large densities. And we do have to use density in both places. R will not know uh, that we're trying to subset a vector based on itself, so we have to use it twice. So that's a quick introduction to working with multiple vectors together. Uh, they can be used to perform element-wise mathematical calculations where we do the same calculation for each position in the vector. They're paired up, first position, second position, third position. And we can also filter values in a vector based on the values in another vector or based on the vector that we're filtering itself.